Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we are making chicken enchiladas. But before we get started, I want to thank all my subscribers and my viewers for all the support that you have given my channel. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients together. We're making chicken enchiladas. For our chicken enchiladas, we're gonna need the following. Chicken breast, shredded Monterey Jack cheese, adobo seasoning, your favorite Mexican seasoning, butter, flour, chicken broth, chicken broth, sour cream, and diced chilies. So I've got my chicken breast on a foil lined baking pan. Um, if you want, you can use a rotisserie chicken. That is your call. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat my chicken in a Mexican seasoning blend. Uh, this is one that I've gotten from my local supermarket. You can use whatever you like. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna coat the chicken on all sides. So now that we've got our chicken fully coated, this is going to go into an oven for about 30 to 45 minutes until um, it reaches an internal of at least 165. All right, so our chicken breasts are cooked and we've shredded them up and we've placed them into a bowl. So we're gonna add our adobo seasoning and our cheese. Give this a good mix. Oh, throwing cheese everywhere. All right, so now that we've got this all mixed up, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull out our um, tortillas and start making our enchiladas. All right, so we've got everything ready to go. So here I am using a flour tortilla and we're going to get some of our chicken and cheese filling and put right down the middle. And then we are going to roll these up nice and tight. And then we're going to set them in our baking dish. And once we get our baking dish filled, we're going to move over and start making our sauce. All right, so for our um, cheese sauce, um, I've got about two and a half tablespoons of butter um, heating up over a medium high heat. And to this, we're going to add in about two and a half tablespoons of flour. And we're going to let this cook for a minute or two. And we're going to make sure we don't burn it because we are making a light roux. Alright, so this has been cooking for about a minute. And to this we're going to add in about two and a half cups of chicken broth. And we're going to whisk this up till it's smooth and it comes up to a light bubble. Alright, so our uh, roux and our chicken broth is fully combined and it's nice and smooth. So to this we're going to add in our green chilies and our sour cream. this until it's smooth and then once that's done and we're going to let it heat up a little bit and then we're going to move over to getting our um, sauce on our uh, tomato our enchiladas okay so now it's time to assemble our enchiladas so we've got our sauce here and we are going to pour this over our enchiladas Need to be careful because this is hot. And we can 
all our enchilada sauce out of here. We want to make sure our enchiladas are all covered with our sauce. There we go. And then we're going to take the rest of our cheese and we're going to cover the top. And we're going to throw this into a 350 degree oven and let this cook for about 30 minutes. Alright, so this has been baking for about 30 minutes. And now what we need to do is we need to let this sit and rest for about five minutes. And once we let it rest for five minutes, we're going to plate up. All right, everyone. So our enchiladas have been sitting for about five minutes. So these smell wonderful. Give me a quick bite here. Mm. Cheesy. Mm. Still very hot too. Mmm. Oh, these are so good. So, excuse me. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. To all my viewers, my current subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers, thank you so much for the support that you've given my channel. And as always, I publish new videos every week. So, remember, enjoy cooking in the kitchen. And until next time.